One thing in healthcare is, I would say, behavioral health, especially with substance use and abuse, something that in our state we have sort of led the way on in terms of innovation with our PDMP model, with our prevention efforts and programming, and trying to get sort of utilization of those type of rates down. I think we've sort of started to see a decrease with our local ERs coming together, forming a uh, coalition to make sure that they're all on the same page of prescribing the least least likely to be addictive to the higher up as pain progresses with the individuals, um, with our seven day supply limit, um, with our looking at now sort of our behavioral health integration within our primary care clinics with more of a managed care. We have pilot projects going on within the one hospital that's already shown a 50% reduction of utilization within the first six months of uh, their pilot program. So it's not a state-based program, it's uh, through uh, sort of a private foundation partnering with the hospital in terms of uh, they have 50 patients that they've taken an approach to, looking at them and, and involving them with an intensive case management uh, sort of approach to see what they really need. Is it just more of just someone to talk to? Is it just more making sure their med uh, management's been taken care of so they don't have to go to the ER to get a bridge supply until they can meet with their next medical provider? And that has shown some really good increasing. It's more than just, well, don't go to the ER, just come see me. It's trying to head off and trying to look at those preventative uh, measures uh, before they have to go to those higher utilization uh, rates of care and trying to get that more of the lower side. And that's been really, really productive thus far. I know the state's looking at that now through a couple of, uh, with our couple of new contracts that are being awarded and the RFP, but it's looking promising.